this is a quickly done replacement video as my original and previous to last video will not seem to upload. I may be formatting or doing something wrong with my videos whenever I'm filming and actually making videos from traditional art as they always take a ridiculous amount of time to upload, 24 to 30 hours. Last week it wouldn't upload even when I tried for over four days and then I tried again for 30 hours for a different video this week and neither one would upload. So I decided to try to do another Procreate time-lapse digital video because those always seem to upload quickly and easily and then try to figure out what's wrong with my older traditional videos and how to reformat them so they actually upload in a reasonable amount of time and well actually upload and allow me to put them on YouTube. To get the pose for this I used an art pose app um, and I posed a male model as reference and then I also used two bird photo references to help me with this one of an eagle which is more for the anatomy of the wing and another one in a similar pose of a seagull which had the lighting I wanted with the sunlight just shining through from behind. This is my version of Freyr which is the god of pleasure. It's used in several versions of my main stories called the Chronicles of Velasa for any version that includes the god Freyr surviving. Surviving what, you may ask? Well, the curse, of course. The curse is a magical global enchantment created by my main villain, Meli Viren, that increases evil, blocks the magic, forces everyone to be human rather than the lost races, and more effects than that. In all my Chronicles of Velasa, the curse is something that explains what's wrong with the Earth. In many of them, there are ancient gods, and in some of them, the ancient gods can come back often awakening after being reborn as humans. There are actually three main sub-varieties of this story. The standard version, which is a regular Chronicle of Elasa, my main story, which just has the gods as characters in the story. Often they only show up after my main villain Meliviren's death, and often only after the curse breaks. Another version is called the New Gods, which focuses more on their children, who are new gods, which only occurs after the curse breaks and the magic returns, and the gods reawaken to themselves, or simply break out of the magical prisons they've been trapped in. The final version is called Gods Awaken, which focuses more on the gods awakening from being reborn as humans. In this version, they're always reborn as humans after breaking out of their prisons, but are trapped behind the curse. This story usually makes them awaken a bit slower, and the curse tends to break slower rather than all at once, and they slowly regain their lost memories and powers. This story can transition into a God's Awakened story if in the future, the gods, the 10 survivors, end up having the children as in the standard New Gods version. So with the different iterations and subversions, there's actually over 50 stories that this picture could actually easily apply to. My version of Freyr has him and his twin sister Freya be ancient elven gods from even before the human empires of ancient Earth were properly built, because Earth has an alternate history in my main stories. Freyr is a god of passion, fertility, and infertility, plants, magic, the living world, nature, beauty, patron of growth and farmers, wine, drugs, partying, love, fun, creativity, rain, sunshine, and of course games and includes sexual magics. The surviving gods actually do have some overlap in their domains and abilities because it's sort of supposed to be random which of them survived the imprisonment. Now, Meli Varen actually was supposed to have imprisoned more than the 10 survivors, but only the 10 survivors didn't get absorbed by their prisons and managed to break free. In most versions of the story, originally 20 weren't actually killed by Meli Varen and were imprisoned and only 10 survived. And I'm about to list which 10 I usually make survive. Quetzalcoatl, Freyr, Ares, Horus, Dakuwaka, a shark god, Bastet, Pele, the Hawaiian volcano goddess, Freya, Thor, and Loki. Because I thought those would actually be the most interesting ones to have survive. Now remember, they're my versions of the gods, not the original versions, so they may be a bit different than the mythology. Also keep in mind the history of Earth has been altered by the curse itself to hide the magic so some stuff might not be very accurate from our version of mythology. Anyway, if you want to see me do any other spotlight videos about the other surviving gods I listed or any other suggestions, let me know, such as my new gods, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!